Gamers, I am here with an unboxing. Not something I usually do, but I have something really, really, really cool to share. And I'm in the proper attire for it as well. You see, I have my, my diva onesie on. We're about to unbox something diva related. Well, I just ripped off like half of it, uh, which doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things, but it was kind of cool that it says confidential all over it to make y'all know how secret this is. This is a top secret confidential box with really secret goods in it and glasses. All right, gamers, I don't have a knife and I'm too lazy to go upstairs, so I'm gonna use this little push pin that I found and we're gonna make it work. Oh, <gasps> wait, it's actually working. Okay, one side. All right, we're making progress. All right, say, say goodbye to the confidential sign. That was my favorite part about this uh, unboxing so far, because it makes me actually look like I'm somebody of worth. All right. Ooh! Gentle Monster Overwatch 2. Let me get you guys a close-up of this, hold on. Gentle Monster Overwatch 2. Take it. This is why I don't do unboxings. Yeah. Oh, oh. Make it progress. Wait. This box is sick. This is sick. Dude. Wait, look at this. This is actually a really cool box. So on both sides, there's like a little holographic or whatever the word for that is of a diva cool silver box gentle monster overwatch on the top which i've never heard of gentle monster before this collab but basically i got these at the creator summit um overwatch flew me and i see like 60 other content creators out to the summit um and they told us a little bit about this uh that wasn't the reason why they flew us out but they did tell us a little bit about this uh we we're all really excited um apparently it's a fashion brand uh from korea and they do collabs a lot of the time and this is one of them so i'm really excited I'm having troubles again. It should not be so hard for me to open a box, but. Oh, I'm dumb. It's one of these bad boys. Hold on, I'm getting there. Oh, oh. my God. We have a sack. I'm just kidding. Um, we have the pair of sunglasses. Um, they're actually they're kind of heavy. Okay, so apparently it comes in a little carry case to protect them. We're gonna take off here real quick. I'm so scared. I don't want them to break. All right, so looking at the carry case for a minute, it looks like it's modeled after Diva's mech, maybe. Possibly not like fully detailed, but there's definitely some little things on there that look like they're trying to go for like a mecha vibe Which is pretty cool. It's a nice little detail. I didn't even know it would come with a case uh, To begin with and then focusing back on the glasses itself There's a little diva figure that comes on it, which is so cool. I think it comes off though. It definitely comes off I'm just scared on how Oh, okay, right now it's attached. All right, so I'm gonna take that off later. Um, but here we go. Dun, da, da, da. So you might be wondering, why are they blue if it's D.Va? Okay, well, funny story for you guys. Um, at the Creator Summit, they showed us that they had two pairs. They had the D.Va pink, little the little pink that she usually has, and a blue pair. And I was sitting with Aspen, Frogger, and Sleepy during like the reveal of all of this. And Aspen and I look at each other, we're like, we want the pink ones, we want the pink ones. Like we were so excited. So we bolted towards like where they had the display of them, but they weren't giving them out yet. And we ran into um, one of the community managers and we're like, how do we get our hands on the pink ones? And they're like, oh, the pink ones will be easy to get. It's the blue ones that are really rare. They're like five times as rare. And we're like, 
we want the blue ones. We want the blue ones. We like swapped so fast on what we wanted. Um, so we found out that they were giving them out after dinner and we saw the boxes were like stacked up over um, like kind of like where you go to go to the bathroom. It's like that hallway. So Aston and I like scarfed down our dinner and then we jolted to like go to the bathroom and we just kind of like filled a little bit waiting. And then all of a sudden we saw people start like going there to like give them out and we're like, we're first, we're first, we want the blue ones. So we got the blue ones. Um, I got a blue pair, um, Aspen got a blue pair, Frogger got a blue pair, Sleepy got a blue pair, and I called Bro Uwak, my boyfriend on the phone, and I was like, do you wanna get over here? Run, run over here. So he ran from like the tent that they were like hosting the little party for us at, and he ran to like the hallway with the bathrooms and stuff to come get this. It sounds really sketch now that I'm like, the hallway with the bathrooms. I, I mean the building that the bathroom was in. Anyways, um, yeah, so we got these blue pairs and we were all really excited. Um, and we knew that they were like rarer than the pink pair, but we didn't really like know like how rare it was. Um, so the next day at the state fair, I asked um, one of the other community managers for Overwatch. I was like, hey, is it true that the blue pair is five times as rare as the pink pair? And they were like, mm, uh, that's not really accurate. It's more like we made like five pairs of the blue ones and the rest are pink. And we're like, what so to my knowledge five was their estimate so it could be a little more but to my knowledge the only people on earth who have these blue pairs because they will not be selling it is me frogger aspen Buruwak, and sleepy and that's pretty cool that's pretty cool um they're also i heard i don't know if this is true but i heard that they're also giving out some pairs um maybe the blue ones but probably the pink ones i don't know uh to like celebrities like for example like billy eilish or bts or whatever um that's just what i heard i don't know if that's like confirmed or super true um for all we know billy eilish could get a pair and be like Nah, I don't want that shit. So, I don't know. Um, but basically, all I do know is that this is super freaking rare. Um, which is kind of exciting. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, let me finish actually opening it up and try it on. I'm so scared that I'm gonna break it. Can you imagine I break something that there's only like five of in the world? Also, another thing. Speaking of five in the world... I don't think they're selling these, like, at all. Which, I'm a little confused because I thought, like, a collab was, like, the point is, like, to sell it, right? Um, but maybe it's just, like, a promotional thing that, like, just content creators and, like, celebrities, <laughs> or both, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like me. <laughs> Anyways, uh, maybe that's just, like, a, like, a promotional thing or something? I don't know. Um, but it's really cool. I'm not complaining. But I do know that there will be, um, starting today, the day that this video goes live, there will be like in-game cosmetics that you could claim. That's like the collaboration between Gentle Monster and Overwatch 2. Um, so maybe this is like kind of advertising that. Um, I don't really know how it works, but I'm excited. Um, but yeah. All right. So I'm going to take the diva off because I don't want anything to happen to her. I don't know if you're meant to wear them with the diva on it, but I'm not taking any chances. So I'm taking homegirl off. Oh my god. Um I was like, I wonder how they get her to sit on there. Um Oop! She goes on the glasses with her ass crack. Oh, she's wearing the gentle monster glasses in the figure. That's so cute. Okay, I don't recognize the actual skin that she has on right now. So I think that this maybe might be the skin that she's wearing in the collab. Because she's wearing the gentle monster glasses. But I don't recognize like these shoes. They have like little bows on it, which are really cute. Um, but I don't recognize them. Um, so this might be the collab skin, which is really cool as well. Um, but as for the actual glasses, time to take the hoodie off. I have onesie hair, but it doesn't matter because I'm about to cover up onesie hair with I feel pretty stylish. I'm not going to lie. Do I rock it? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But you know what? They're cute. Will I go out in public with them? Probably not. 
Uh, you know, don't really see myself going to Walmart on a hot day with these. You know? But, they're a really cool little collectible item. So, I will definitely have them on display. Let's look! Look how cool this is! Okay, and then on the back here, it says, Claim your code on the website. Log on to account overview, account.battle.net slash overview. Enter the code to redeem a code box. <gasps> and redeem cl and click redeem code, which includes exclusive diva skins and more. Okay, so my theory is probably correct that this is like what you'd be getting in game, except colored, not just silver. <laughs> But yeah, anyways, so that was my unboxing video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Back to my diva mech. Um, I don't usually do unboxing videos, but if you guys like this, uh, please don't forget to leave a like. I'll probably do more in the future with just like other Overwatch stuff if you guys want that type of stuff. Um, but yeah, don't forget to check out the Overwatch store to see the diva bundle. I don't know if it's going to be free or cost money. Probably cost money, but... It seems pretty cool. So yeah, I will definitely be redeeming my code and rocking the gentle monster Overwatch in game. And I hope to see fellow gentle monster gamers in my Overwatch games. And I will see you guys around. Bye bye. Two to the one, two to the three. I'm here to party. <laughs> GG. A giant gorilla can keep up with me. You can.